today it finds us in a unique position where we're actually using all the squalls to sail. We've been hit by three already today and we've only been out for about five hours. There's another one right in front of us. You gotta be careful doing that because right now we're, we're double reefed on the main but we got the jib fully out. And that's a lot of stress on the rig. This is a big one, but I don't see any lightning, so that's good. system coming in the wind kind of shifts and we're moving finally shut in the chart here's Isla Montuosa that's Seca's so we just came down and now we're sailing finally but there's a big storm out here okay wind is shifting okay We got us like twice in Panama. We've been here forever already. Dude, I can't wait to get some coconuts. Look at this island. Really pretty. It's gonna be a little rolly, but not worse than we had in Isla Secas. You didn't mind, right? No. Kick it over. Is 
Santa Teresa is an uninhabited island and as far as we could tell completely unvisited too. It was just a piece of jungle surrounded by big waves and rocks. <laughs> Not quite the best combination for a poor little dinghy. Yep, the jungle in Montosa was definitely completely wild and none of us had brought a machete or even a pair of shoes so we just walked the beach for this evening being. We should have probably thought about an exit strategy before we set foot on the island but long story short guys Lucy and I swam through the surf and pulled James, who was sitting in a dinghy, through it because he didn't want to get his hair wet. So we're parked at Montuosa and uh, there's a navy boat right here. They just came over and <laughs> they were super sweet, man. They said, we're here to serve. Uh, if you need anything, let us know. And they gave us a bunch of chocolate and stuff. Chocolate bars and cookies and little Vienna sausages. Ah! Oh, that's so cool of them. I asked them if they wanted any fish because we were going spear fishing today. They said they wouldn't say no, so. So we grabbed the guns and went out spear fishing. The water was really murky, so there's not a lot of good video, but from this you can see that there was really pretty coral. And I took a couple shots at some amberjack, but missed all of them. And amberjack are, of course, the tastiest fish. And so, Kimmy and I brought back some trigger fish. We, uh, this is what we got, so. We're gonna keep the big one for us, and then we're, we're just gonna give them the two small ones, which are pretty big fish. Did you show them already the big trigger I shot? I shot that. <laughs> no, I shot that. <laughs> no. I shot that. She always shoots the bigger fish. She's a little competitive, this one. This is mine triggers, one and two. And that's her trigger. <laughs> it's huge. Get it, Santa! Por qué están aquí? ¿Qué están haciendo? Seguridad. Seguridad. Sí. Ah, como de tráfico de personas y todo. Oh. Ah. Oh, cosas malas. ¿Y qué es su lugar preferido por aquí? Cuiba or Las Secas or aquí in Mendoza? Todos, todos son preferidos. Sí, pero mejor, mejor Cuiba. Cuiba es más bonito. Okay. Sí. Pero no se puede apunear, ¿verdad? Bueno, Cuiba. Esto es un área protegida para jicarón. Allá sí. Please note that I'm entering the wild Panamanian jungle wearing the only pair of shoes that I own which are high heel boots. That is a very stylish way to um, go hunting for food in the jungle. We müssen nur auf die Skorpione aufpassen. Schlangen, Skorpione. Oh, das sind die Tigermücken. Wow. 
after struggling for a little while with the only inhabitants of this island, we finally had our first find. So we're just about to leave Montuosa. We just turned the motors on. It's about 10 a.m. We've been waiting for this thunderstorm to dissipate. I can still hear thunder, but it uh, looks like we're gonna get missed by it. There's no more lightning. We're on a schedule because Lucy's leaving in less than two weeks now, I think like 13 days, and we gotta go. So we can't wait for wind. Heroes got some plantains from the island yesterday and some coconuts. I heard they got an avocado. I haven't seen that, so I don't believe them. And we're going to Hickerone finally. And the Navy told us we could we could spearfish there. Plus it's a little rolly here. I'd like to finish my shrouds. I have two more shrouds to do. And I'm gonna make a video about that. I wanna get, get into a anchorage that's not so rolly. Hopefully Hickerone is a bigger island so it'll block the swell a little more. What is it? It's a mahi, it's a big one. It's a mahi! It's really mahi? Yeah. Oh, I never tasted mahi! Get a gap, baby. Swimming for a rudder. I need you to get on this side. Oh, hey! Go on the other way! Go on the other way! He's a smart guy. Go on the other way! 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 Go on the our breakfast but we don't have time to eat it because we have a second big fish on our lures Damn. is it a shark is it a dolphin oh he's fighting huh he's fighting good yep. get off that motherfucker our second. Go over him and, and. There you go, there you go, there you go. Okay, nice. Wow, he's big. Thank you. What you doing with the rum? I'm pouring it in his gills. It's supposed to just completely docile him out. Wow. Opening his bloodline so he'll bleed out. Okay. Well, we got we we got sushi for days.
This place looks cool. Look at those rock formations over there on the side. The captain is pissed about the sails again. Jim keeps hooking on the front hook. Because? They're the wrong size, man. I'm not, I'm not very happy about that. Let's not talk about that. I thought I'd just mention it so that the viewers at home know what we're dealing with. We stayed at Picaron for a few days, but even though that was the reason we came here in the first place, we didn't even spare once. Lucy had an ear infection, James was tied up with replacing the rigging with Dyneema, and I was working on the next episode. We left Picaron to finally go and visit Cuiba, the biggest island in Central America, where fellow cruisers have told us about a secret spot that is supposed to be especially beautiful for diving. to Boca Chica because we have to upload the next episode and because we're out of food except for tuna obviously. The reef here was amazing. That's that's how it should look what it should look like. A healthy reef I guess. Yep. On our way to Boca Chica now. Hey. 